a special presentation of O. Henry's The Last Leaf, a parable for Easter. attracted immigrants and artists, like myself. The artists came hunting for north windows and 18th century gables and Dutch attics. The immigrants came for the low rents. story brick building with my sister Susan. On the floor beneath us lived another artist, Mr. Verlaine, an obstinate, irritable old man. But beneath his crusty exterior, I knew a gentle and caring man who for 50 years dreamed of painting his masterpiece, but could never put on canvas what was in his heart. unseen stranger called pneumonia brought fear and death through our small district, touching one here and one there with its icy fingers. It took from my sister's tiny, frail body her immense love of life, and finally, even her will to live. Fine, Miss. He's just a bit shaken. You know this man? Yes. Step on. in my building. I'll, I'll take care of him. Oh, it's good. all right. Mr. Verlaine, it's not important. There are yes, apples. it is important. Why? You shouldn't even be out in this weather. I have to be. Why? I'm working, carrying vegetables and fruits for Mr. Schlosser. He pays me a dollar. Can a dollar be worth more than your health? It is not just one dollar. Then what? To me, it is paints, canvas, brushes. Life before art. That's what you're always telling me. I'm going to go tell Mr. Schlosser you're coming home and you're going to get some rest. Plus, you promised you'd tell me about Rembrandt today. Mon chéri, we will talk about Rembrandt later. I have to finish my work. Comprenez vous? Good and tough for Eileen. Oh, How is Susan today? Um, better, I hope. The doctor's with her now. You need more lemons, sir? Yes. And maybe a couple of oranges, too. Okay. Mr. Schlosser, Mr. Verlaine has been working. Oh, that doom cop. He makes me crazy. 
The only thing that was keeping him alive is that painting of his. Did Da Vinci carry apples for eight years to paint the Mona Lisa? <laughs> you forgot to weigh these. What weigh? They are for your sister with my compliments. Wait, wait. I give you your money now. Hey, you go home now. But I have not finished my work. You are finished when I say you are finished. Now you take it. No, no. Now you take it. No, no. Please, get him out of here. Has his paintbrushes strapped to his hands because he can no longer hold on to them. I should do the same with my keys. I'll help you get comfortable. No, no, no. I look after myself. You take care of your sister. Don't forget, you promised to tell me again of Paris and Rembrandt. Rembrandt. Leonardo. Verlaine. How is she? I'm afraid she's no better. What are you going to do? I know the power of medicine against pneumonia. And I know the power of one's will. That little lady has made up her mind that she's not going to get well. Oh. Susan's 14 years old, doctor. She doesn't want to die. I'll look in on her in the morning. Give that to the druggist and give her sponge baths about every half hour through the night. Good day, Miss Brady. They're falling faster now. Three days ago, it made my headache to count them all. There were so many. Now it's easy. There goes another. And now there are only seven left. Only seven what? Leaves. The wind blew three away last night. Nonsense. 